What's up everyone, Jared Dreschel here. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Just rolled up at Jamie's Flea Market. I'm about to go hit some licks for eBay. But first off, I just wanted to explain to you guys that this isn't what you think it is, and I'm not what you think I am. I'm not some e-commerce guru, right? I just turned to 22 years old, and I'm simply documenting my journey of me going through this. Like, I'm not on here trying to act like I'm the greatest flipper of all time and you know I know you guys see Gary V trash talk like he's doing it for fun like I'm not doing this for fun guys like I just walked away from my main source of income I was a part of a seven figure Amazon business I walked away like I have to make money like that's what this is about like I have bills that need paid I like I got my rent I got three four other businesses that need funded that cost money to do things I need three hundred dollars a month for my click funnels account to sell my ebook like I got bills right I got things that need paid for. That's why I'm here. I'm not here for fun. I'm not here to try to act like I know what I'm talking about. I'm here to make money. I have no other option. And that's why you guys are getting confused on my Instagram and TikTok and on here and stuff. Like, I'm not doing this for fun. I'm documenting my journey of going through this to, in hopes that it can in hopes that it can help somebody, in the hope that it can inspire you or teach you something. My mission is to help. But first off, my mission is to live and support myself. And this right here, going into this flea market, is a means to an end, right? It's because I have to make money. That's why I'm doing this. I just wanted to set that clear. I'm here to help. I'm here to show you guys how to do it, how I'm doing it, what I've found that works, what doesn't work. But I'm not a guru. I'm just showing my journey of me going through this. So that's it, guys. I'm going to try to get as much footage as I can in here. I hope you guys enjoy it. Stay tuned. All right, you guys, I am in my apartment. Sorry I didn't get any footage of me at the flea market. It was very, very short-lived, and I bought five items, and I went way over my budget. So I'm gonna show you what I got. And I felt really uncomfortable even looking things up on eBay, let alone busting a camera out. And like I said, I literally went to like two booths, and at the second one, I spent like all my money, and I went to the ATM and took out even more. So I'm gonna show you what I got. First thing is a Zion Williamson rookie card. Ended up getting this for $90, and uh, I'm pretty new to the sports card world, to be honest with you, but you've heard Gary V preaching sports cards for the last few months, saying they're making a comeback, and if you look on eBay right now, sports cards are one of the hottest items on the entire site. So I'm going to show you guys on uh, the eBay app here what I have these listed at. So this Zion card I have listed for $300 or best offer, picked it up for $90. If I can get anywhere close to that, that'll be a nice flip. Next up is a Luka Doncic rookie card. Pick this up for 100 And this one is a really, really nice one. I have it listed for 350 or best offer. Um, so hopefully I can get that for it. Next up is this LeBron James freshman season card. Um, it's As you can see, these ones, the next three I'm going to show you are graded. Uh, this one's graded a 10 mint condition. So I have this listed for 150 or best offer. This one here is a LeBron James Diary rookie card. As you can see, he's in his uh, uh, high school uniform there. Pretty cool. Um, this one is graded near mint to mint. It's an eight. So I have this listed at uh, 130 or best offer. If I can get anywhere close to these numbers, I'll be really happy, guys. These right here, um, I actually got it at a much better price than the first two I showed you. And then this one here, um, this is graded a 9 mint. It's a LeBron James <clears throat> rookie style card. And it is a, uh, I have it listed at $50 or best offer. This one doesn't go for as much as the other ones. Um, but it is graded a 9 mint, which helps. So the three LeBron cards, I picked all three of these up for $25 total. So if I can get anywhere close to what I have these listed at, those will be really nice flips. And uh, that's all I bought, guys. Um, you know, I was looking around and I saw some things that I, you know, some mugs and things like that that would definitely go on eBay. But when I saw these sports cards, I just something, you know, intuitively I was just like, okay, you need to go check out these sports cards. There was one. I, re I should have bought it looking back. It was a LeBron rookie card, one of the most famous ones, and it goes for like $1,500 to, I saw $3,000, and they, they wanted $500 for it. I offered them three. They didn't take it. So I ended up getting these five. I have them all listed on eBay. They're all live. So if you want to stay tuned and see if they sell and what I end up getting for them, 
head over to my Instagram or my TikTok. I'll be posting the uh, final sale price that I sell these for, guys. So super excited about this. Thank you for tuning in. Once again, sorry I didn't get any footage of me in the flea market, but like I said, it was super short-lived. I was really uncomfortable even looking things up on eBay because they were asking me, what are you doing, looking it up on your phone? And then, so like, let alone holding a camera in my face. Like, yeah, I'm showing people how I'm going to make money on this stuff. So anyway, please head over to my Instagram, my TikTok. Stay tuned and see what the final sale prices on these are, as well as all kinds of e-commerce content every single day across both platforms. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next video.